Okay. Okay, okay, I'm here. So I did a thing. Also, welcome. Hello. Uh, good to be back, by the way. I kind of went MIA for the past year. I had a very, very difficult, complicated surgery, a lot of complications. It was not fun, but now I kind of have my life back again. And since I have my life back again, that means that uh, we can do tech stuff again. I am rushing to put this video out because I just found out about the Euro Fair uh, in Rome. I found this out on Twitter. It's a maker's fair literally in Rome where my grandparents came from. I am so, so excited for Maker Fair Rome. And they have a submission for science projects, DIY stuff, networking tech. And I, by coincidence, just finished prototyping this finger typing glove. So um, I'm gonna make this video as a submission. Uh, Eurofair, uh, if you're watching, hi, welcome. I would love to uh, showcase my work at your place. I'll probably be making a more in-depth video of this uh, later on, but for now, we're gonna do quick, dirty, bare bones. This is what it is, this is how it works, and this is why it's useful. Ready? Let's do it. So I call this the Omni Glove. And what this basically is, is a finger tracking glove. It is completely wearable, modular, uh, very lightweight. All the electronics can fit right on this component once you, you know, tie up the, you know, clean up the wires a little bit, but all the electronics is one Arduino feather and a small circuit board that I soldered. Uh, you can see that on the fingers, there are flex sensors. And these sensors are the things that actually tell you when you bend a finger. It's also got an onboard LED. And the goal of this project was to try to make a hands-free way to type. So basically replacing keyboards. So instead of using a keyboard to type with two hands, literally just being able to like sit here and just do this and be able to type. Uh, this was actually inspired from the movie Ender's Game, if anyone remembers Ender's Game. Uh, they had that sort of like finger twitching, single typing method of doing things. And I wanted to try to put that in a glove and I did it. That is what this is and that is what I hope to present at the Maker's Fair. Uh, so how does it work? What is the science behind how this works? Basically, these sensors on the fingers here are called flex sensors. These flex sensors change resistance depending on how much the sensor is bending. So what I basically did was I 3D printed a rig to bind the flex sensors to each finger in the glove and then run a circuit into the Arduino feather that will track when it bends and if it bends, how far it bends. And through that, you can map each digit to a finger. And by mapping each digit to a finger, tracking how far it bends, you can actually type stuff with it, which is really cool. So how do you fit 25 plus characters on this? So I, I was playing around with a bunch of different ways of doing things. Um, I think this could be really useful for folks that have hand injuries, folks that might be uh, arthritis, like wrist disabled, where, where just typing is really, really hard. Maybe voice activation is kind of really, really hard for certain things, and especially for a phone. So I was like, maybe there's a way that I can rig something up so that you just put this glove on, you just start going. You could just be quiet, just just do this, type, type like that, and you're good. And the way that I figured that out is through a rotating uh, letter key. So basically this is what I, once it focuses, this is what I made to sort of key someone in on the alphabet. I basically, digits one through four are the letters. So like twit, flipping one hand is a letter, another letter, another letter, another letter. The thumb changes and cycles through the letters that the active letters that are mapped to each finger. And I sorted the letters from most common to least common to try to minimize how many uh, rotations you need to do. The four most common letters are E-A-R-I. So E, A, R, I, and then the thumb would switch to the next set of four. And the next set of four is O, T, N, S. So O, T, N, S, next set of four. Bop, 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 bop. And this would just continue. I think what I want to do is 
figure out a, a way to cycle forwards and backwards that, with the thumb. That'll probably make things a lot easier. Uh, but the bare bones of this is you get to just type, cycle through, type, cycle through, spaces are included, and you can basically write whatever you want. It's a really, really simple circuit. It did not take very long to sort of design. Uh, it's just basically taking a really simple principle of flex sensors and kind of mapping it to your fingers and making a cool kind of uh, piece of tech with it that could probably help people that are struggling to type or struggling to do certain things. Uh, you don't have to do anything crazy like moving two or three hands at once. It's literally one finger at a time, which really helps. And I just wrote a quick code to get this proof of concept going. And like you can see, like it works really, really well. So I'm probably gonna make a more in-depth video about this, but I am so excited uh, to submit this uh, to the Eurofair. And I hope that uh, if y'all see this, uh, definitely give it a like, definitely give it a comment, hype it up. I would love to network with people and try to improve on this idea because I've never actually seen it before uh, to make uh, just this modular tech piece that you don't need any keyboards for. You can have prop your phone up have it Bluetooth compatible and just go to, and just go. And you don't actually need to like do this typing on your phone all the time. So I think this could be really, really cool. So hope it is submitted. Uh, I hope, I'm, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so happy to be making videos again. Uh, so definitely let me know uh, what you think of this and I'll be making more stuff. I've got a TikTok, I've got shorts, I gotta upload. I'm finally done with surgery stuff and complications and I can be a person again and I'm so excited. So let's do more of this, shall we? Uh, thank you uh, for Eurovision for letting me apply and I hope to hear from you soon. Take care.